Hi, Paul from PowerWashStore.com here. We're going to do a walk around of the Monster Wash uh, truck bed skid. We have a hot water slimline skid here that is 8 gallons a minute, 3,000 PSI. We'll start over here. We have three electric Titan reels. Uh, we have 100 feet of garden hose on the first one, 250 feet of ag hose for our low pressure system on the second one, and 200 feet of single wire, uh, three, uh, 4,000 PSI dragon tail hose non-marking. Uh, on the top of the tank here we have a 100 gallon tank. We have our float in the back here. We have our two tubes that are used with the proportioner for our soft washing. You can see that we have banjo cam locks on all three of our tanks uh, and that will allow him to winterize the system just by disconnecting those and connecting it to uh, his bucket of antifreeze. Also on here we have a little disconnect on the bypass so when he is winterizing he has the ability to disconnect his bypass to not fill his tank with antifreeze when he is running it through the system. We have our soft wash system. We are using a Gen 3 system uh, with the 12 volt pumps. And on that we have our uh, bleeder valve or our primer valve which will allow him to do either fill bucket with mix from the proportioner or from when he primes the system all he has to do is open the valve up and allow it to release all the pressure from the system for quick priming process. Coming around the unit here, we have an injector bypass kit on here. This will allow him to maintain full flow and downstream chemical. Uh, what he would do is when he wants to downstream chemical, he'll have this valve in the closed position. He has a little seven gallon tank here that he can fill with the chemical of his choice for downstreaming. When he wants to apply chemical, this would be closed. When he wants to get into a rinse mode and he doesn't want the restriction without having to remove all this, all he has to do is open this valve up and what that will do is because of the small orifice in the injector that causes restriction, it allows the water to bypass around it. So we'll be running through the injector and the bypass at the same time so he eliminates that flow restriction and, and gets much better in full flow out of the system. We have a uh, eight gallon a minute uh, 3,000 PSI slimline water dragon on here. We have our burner diagnostic center which tells you about uh, when the power is on, this lights up, when your flow switch is activated and uh, you're squeezing the trigger, you have your flow or pressure switch activation light and then we have a thermostat light. When all these light up you should be getting heat. If we have a problem with one of these not working either from the temperature controller failing or the pressure switch failing, uh, that helps us as a quick diagnostic tool. Uh, fuel pressure gauge to monitor our fuel pressure so we know that when that begins to drop we can look at changing our fuel filter on the system to eliminate any type of issues. 11 gallon gasoline tank, 11 gallon diesel tank. Uh, around the side here we have our uh, proportioner system on here for uh, blending chemical while you spray so we can change our ratios as we're cleaning. We have a transfer pump set up on here as well. In the box, we'll go through the operation of the proportioner in a second. Inside the box here, we have a, our Gen 3 twin pump system. You can see we have a circuit breaker on here for reset that's uh, wired in directly to our battery on the unit. We have our uh, Gen 3 system here with our proportioner, and we have the ability to actually disconnect one line or the other to switch pumps should there ever be a failure just by pulling the uh, clip down on the pump and then sliding the barb off. Uh, we have our selector valve here that allows us to select between water and SH which goes to the SH valve on the proportioner for when we want to flush the system or use the system for cleaning. And in the back here we just have some additional storage and you see he's got some, uh, some products in here for use. This is part of the transfer pump that he has on there with the drop tube that will allow him to transfer from off the truck to on the truck for transferring his bleach or his soaps or anything like that. And, and finally inside the box here we have the accumulator for the Gen 3 system that allows you to adjust the nozzle size at the gun um, of the uh, spraying system to allow you to not cause the pumps to cycle on and off and, and cause problems with the pressure switches. One other thing, these are specially, special made pumps. We uh, have these all made special with polypropylene heads and polypropylene check valves kits so that we are getting uh, anywhere from five to ten times the life versus the standard nylon glass filled nylon heads. So when working the system with the proportioner what we're going to do is we would start out by priming the system. We need to make sure that we get all the air out of the system to, uh, to use this properly. So what we would do is we would select our pump which is our proportioner 
and you can hear I actually have it on. That's my uh, bypass, the proportioner is hooked up to this one here. So I would turn my pump on, I would open my water valve all the way, and you can actually hear there's a little bit of water in the tank. With the uh, valve open on the side here to make it easy for priming, I would actually open this valve, and you can see that there is uh, some water and stuff in there, so I'm gonna shut this pump off. Uh, we would open our water valve all the way, Inside the box, we'll watch the line to see when all the water goes in. Once the water comes through the line, and that's why we use clear lines, and it's into the proportioner, we know that that's prime. Then we'll close that off. We'll do the same thing with the detergent valve. We'll open it up all the way. We'll watch for the liquid to come through into the proportioner. Then we'll shut that one off. Then we'll do the same thing with the SH line. Now, we have to take into account our valve here. So what I'm going to do is I would start with my water, and I would prime it, prime the SH valve with the water. Then after I see that that's primed, I'll switch it over to the SH, and I'll prime it with the SH. Once the system is completely primed, I'm going to shut everything off. Now you may have a small amount of air in here, but the pump will be able to compensate for that and pull that out in really short order. Now I'm going to be ready to operate. I'm going to come back over to my valve here, and I want to make sure that I shut this off so I'm not dumping my mix all over the ground. Um, one of the things you can do when you're priming this is take the jumper hose that's in the box over there and connect it and run it down to the ground or into a bucket so you're not dumping product all over the ground. So now we're gonna be pressurizing our reel, we're ready to go. I'm gonna come over to my proportioner here and I wanna clean a roof, for example. And let's say I want a three and a half or a four and a half percent mix because it's really bad. So I'm gonna come over to my proportioner, I'm gonna open my water valve all the way. I'm gonna take my uh, SH valve and, and it is on SH back over here so I'm making sure that I'm using, using my bleach from my bleach tank, which is right there. I'm going to use that. I'm going to turn the valve up to 4.5%. I'm going to set my detergent anywhere between uh, 3 and 5, typically, with, uh, with the Agent Clean chemi Chemicals or Dragon Grip uh, to allow us to get that surfactant onto the surface to mix with and blend with our, uh, our bleach mix. I'm going to go up. I'm going to spray. I'm going to do all my cleaning. I'm ready to go. All right, I'm all done with the roof now, and now I'm gonna come back and let's say I wanna clean the house, but I don't want a 4.5% mix on the house. I wanna bring that down to 2.5% because it's not quite as bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my SH valve down to 2.5% just by changing the level, and if you look at the numbers, you can see one, one and a half, two, you know, three and a half, five and a half. Those are percentages of bleach mix. So after I've turned it down, I'm going to turn my detergent valve up all the way, I'm gonna squeeze the trigger on the gun, I'm gonna to count to three, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I'm gonna let off the trigger of the gun, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna turn my, my detergent valve back to where I like to have it, somewhere between three and five typically. Now, I can spray out what's in the line, I can spray it on the driveway or you know wherever on the house. You know What's happening is you're using that stronger mix. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see a big glob of soap come out, it's gonna be a lot of suds. When you see that suds, you know that everything after that point is going to be your new concentrated mix of 2.5%. So then you can continue to spray the house. When I'm done, at the end of the day, I'm going to want to flush this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my detergent off. I'm going to walk over. I'm going to turn my SH valve up all the way. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn this valve from SH to water. And I'm just going to spray the gun. I might spray the remaining in the hose on the sidewalk as, as a bonus for the customer or just finish spraying the areas of the house that I may not have done. As I'm doing that, what's going to happen is you'll see the detergent and the suds will disappear and then I flushed it out. So if you do that for a few minutes and maybe rinse, you're going to flush out your system. You're going to save the life of your pumps, the life of your hose reel, the life of your uh, proportioner as well. And then at the end of the day, all I have to do is shut this off close the door and I'm all set. So this is how the uh, Monster Wash uh, short bed water dragon skid works with the Slimline hot water pressure washer. Paul from powerwashstore.com 855-351-9274.